Hello everyone, I have the latest PlayStation 5 controller here that has a lot of great features packed into it. Now, every time Sony comes out with the latest PlayStation console, the controller gets more advanced, much better and much comfortable to hold. Now from PlayStation 1 to PlayStation 2, it had a slight advancement there. And then PlayStation 2 to PlayStation 3 became wireless. PlayStation 3 to PlayStation 4, uh, the design changed, so it became more comfortable to hold, slightly better battery life as well. And then PlayStation 4 to PlayStation 5, uh, you can see that it looks slightly the same as the PlayStation 4 controller. However, it does have a few great features packed into it. One of the great features is that, like the PlayStation 4, it, it, you know, PlayStation 4 controller was comfortable to hold, but this is even better. These kind of controllers you can use for hours without getting that discomfort. The buttons work very smoothly. I've never had problems with any PlayStation controllers when it comes to buttons and the triggers because they operate very smoothly. You don't have to press pressure on it or anything to press it. Okay, they, they just work once you just press it and they're very smooth to operate. The analog works very, very smoothly as well. And another uh, great feature regarding this is that it has a textured handles. On this side and on this side, it got some grippy design. My camera can't really capture it much, but you might be able to see it slightly that you got that grippy design on both sides. That gives you that extra comfort while you're holding it. So that's something that stands out as well. It also has a haptic feedback and adaptive triggers as well. These are perfect for playing certain games. And that's something I really like. So if you're playing Call of Duty, etc., these adaptive um, triggers really helps out. And that's something I really like about these adaptive triggers that this controller has, that the PS4 controller didn't have. It also has another great feature. Now, it, like a PS4, yeah, it does have the uh, headphone slot, slot there that you can put earphones in and actually talk through that way. However, this one also has built-in mic as well, so you don't have to put uh, earphones in to talk. You can actually talk through it by just pressing this button. You can mute it or unmute it and actually talk through the controller. Speaker is there, and this is the button to switch you on. When you switch on, you can see the lights light up as well. It looks really nice as well, and picks up your voice through the back here. It also has a USB Type-C charging port, so it does charge up a lot quicker. However, the battery life no, is not that impressive. I was expecting you know, to have a better battery life. It would give you around 15 hours of usage time per full charge. And that's still not enough. I think it, was, I think it would have been even better if they put, made it in a way where you could get a longer usage time than 15 hours. But it's still, it's still a brilliant controller. Another downside is that it doesn't come with a charging cable. So... For some reason, I don't know why, a lot of new technologies don't come with charging cables, but it's a USB Type-C, it's not that um, expensive, you can purchase one. A lot of your Android smartphones, etc. Ha has those same charging ports, so you can charge it up like that, uh, but it doesn't come with a charging cable. Also, bear in mind, this is not a wide compatibility controller, so it won't work with all consoles, um, all platforms, etc., it works with PlayStation 5 because it is a PlayStation 5 controller and it works perfectly with a PS PC um, gaming as well. So if you're a PC gamer, I would highly recommend purchasing one of these because you will love this controller. That's it. It doesn't work with um, Apple Mac or PS4, so bear in mind. So thank you for watching my video. Please do give a like and subscribe.